Hello, everyone. Today we will learn a new lecture, VLAN principles and configuration. In last lecture, we talked about Ethernet. We know that all the devices in one Ethernet are in the same broadcasting domain, but sometimes we want to separate them into several separate groups, and the devices in each group are in the broadcasting domain. So in that case, we need to use VLAN technique, which is virtual local area network. And in today's lecture, we will first talk about what is VLAN? Why do we need VLAN? Then we will talk about the principles of VLAN and also the applications of VLAN. And finally, we will give some examples on how to do the VLAN configuration. First, let's look at why do we need the VLAN technique? Actually, if we look at layer two Ethernet, there is a big problem, which is the broadcasting flooding problem. So assume that there are a lot of computers and switches here because all of these devices are in the same broadcasting domain. So the broadcasting package will be transmitted to all the computers. Then there will generate a lot of broadcasting traffic, which will degrade the performance of the total network. Uh, look at this for example. Even if we doesn't transmit the broadcasting frame, only a unicast frame is transmitted. And we assume that only this frame is transmitted from PC1 until PC2. And assume that only the switch 1, switch 3, switch 7 has the PC2's MAC address and corresponding interface added in its MAC address table. But the other switches doesn't have the information of PC2 included in its table. So these switches doesn't know, don't know how to forward the packet. So there is one problem. See, if this packet arrives switch one, it knows this is the correct outgoing interface. Then he can unicast this packet to next hop. But here, switch two cannot match the MAC address of this PC2 in its table. Then he doesn't know where to forward. Then he should simply flood this package to all the outgoing links. And then maybe this one knows how to forward. So here is a unicast. But for this switch, uh, if it still doesn't know, then he, it will still forward flood this packet to all the outgoing links. Then there will be a lot of junk traffic here, here, and here. Uh, why this one doesn't generate junk traffic? Because maybe it has this MAC address in its table, and it knows that I'm not the correct forwarder, so I will simply discard. But however, if there are some switch doesn't know the interface of the destination, then there will be a lot of junk traffic all over the network. So actually this junk traffic causes dramatic performance degradation in the network. Even sometimes it can fail the whole network. And besides, the security is another problem. This package are only destined to this destination, but all the other PCs has received it, so it generates severe security problems. To solve these problems, actually the idea of VLAN, virtual local area network, has been proposed. The idea of VLAN is that although all these PCs are in the same multicast domain, but we can separate them into several uh, logically a smaller broadcast domain. For example, these PCs are in the same logic broadcast domain, and this is another logical domain. This is the, the third logical domain, and this domain only includes these two PCs. So in that case, if PC1 want to transmit a packet to PC2, then they only broadcast to this domain. 
and the other PCs because they are not in the same domain of this uh, this computer, then these hosts will not receive junk traffic. So that is the idea of virtual LAN. So we call this is a virtual LAN, virtual LAN 1, virtual LAN 2, virtual LAN 3, and virtual LAN 4. To use this virtual LAN, we can separate the whole a large broadcasting domain into several smaller logical broadcasting domains.